Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Home with Kelly P and I hope that you are having a great day. In today's video I am going to be decorating my living room for fall and this is the last room in my home that I'm going to be doing. It's not that big and this year I'm finding I'm wanting to keep things fairly simple so I'm not going to go all out like I have done in other years but that's just fine with me. I am really liking a more pared down feel and look to all my rooms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start as always on my mantle and I'm just going to take down all my summer decor, give it a quick wipe down and then start decorating it. And I'm using this garland that I picked up from Michael's this year. It was on a two for one sale and I used the other one in my dining room. In case you missed that, I will leave a link to that video in the cards above but I love, love, love this garland. It is gorgeous. I am so happy I found it. And then I'm just going to embellish it with some picks again from Michaels. It's similar to what, actually it's very similar to what I did in my dining room. So I'm really enjoying the look of this and I love the colors. Then I thought I would add this beautiful vase that I found at HomeSense and well, yeah, that happened. It was too wide for the mantle, so I had to start all over again, but that's okay. Um, that happens sometimes, so I just replaced it, my old vases that I had up there, and that's what I'm going to use on the mantle. I should have used command hooks on the mantle to hold up the garland, so tell me below. Yay or nay for command hooks? I am definitely a yay girl. Now I'm adding these beautiful stems, again from Michaels that I got this year on a two for one, and I did choose some others in my dining room. So you can see a theme here. I'm kind of trying to keep similar look and feel in all the rooms. And these stems were beautiful and uh, they went so perfectly with the look and feel of the garland. So I just put those back in the vases that I had up on my mantle for summer. And this video is part of a invite hosted with my good, good friend here on YouTube, Shoshana from Regal Designs by Shoshana. And if you haven't visited her channel, please click her link and go give her some love. She's a wonderful support and friend. She does beautiful decor, DIYs, cleaning videos, you name it, she does it all. So go check her out. The link to her channel will be in my description box below. And then I had these gorgeous pine cones. I've had these for years and they're from Pier 1. And I had used them on a in a previous video for a tablescape on my kitchen table. But I always knew I wanted them in this garland on my mantle. So I just took them off the table and put them here and they were perfect. Next, I'm gonna move on to my coffee table. And of course, as you can see, yeah, everything has to look ugly before it gets pretty. So I'm just gonna clear everything off and just give it a quick dusting and then start to place things back on um, the table. So the tray that you see here that I'm taking everything off of is actually a new purchase for me from HomeSense. I found it this year there at HomeSense and I love it. I love the look of it. I love the shape. So that is what I'm going to use as a base for a bunch of pumpkins on my coffee table. And this pretty green pumpkin actually lights up and I got it last year at HomeSense and I love it. It's so pretty when it's lit up and I love the color. I think it plays really well against the uh, muted mustards and yellows and creams from the garland. So now I'm just going to fuss and fuss and fuss with pumpkins on this tray till I get it where I want it to be. But I think I spent far too much time fussing around with these pumpkins. And if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know I am a 
obsessed with lamb's ear this year. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but I thought some of these stems from Walmart would be perfect on this tray to nestle in with the pumpkins. And I thought the color went really, really well with that green light up pumpkin as well. So I'm just gonna fuss and fuss and fuss <laughs> with some lamb's ear, some pumpkins, and some leftover picks. Next I'm going to move on to the base of the fireplace and actually I'm going to try a few things here but nothing was working for me. So you will see at the end that whatever I do here doesn't stick. I do change it up again. I just was not feeling what was happening here. And the little stacked pumpkins, little stacked white pumpkins that I place here. I love these and I usually have them on my mantle but we all know what just happened with my mantle when I tried to put something on. So I put them over here on this little side table and I like them better over here. So again I'm just going to play with a few uh, scenarios and a few placements and see what works. Now I'm just going to play with some pillows and some blankets on my couch and on a couple of chairs. And uh, these pillows I've had for years. They actually came with a sofa that my son had bought when he moved out and they work perfectly for fall. And then this blanket I've had again for years. It's a beautiful deep orangey color so I usually use it there. And then these blocks again I've had for years and the kids used to love them when they were home and younger and it just says give thanks and our Canadian Thanksgiving is coming up so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to put them out and this uh, I liked them over here on my uh, TV stand so I thought that gave a nice little pop of color over here. So again, just gonna fuss with them, make some room for some pillows, and I dug out my dark green cushion covers that I had purchased off Amazon for Christmas time because I am loving forest green for Christmas, but I thought they would be perfect now for the fall since they're a deep, deep forest green and almost like a velvet. I'm sorry, I got them from Ikea. That's where I got those pillow covers. And now I'm just going to give you a look at how it all turned out and I love it. It's simple, it's not fussy, it's much more pared down than I normally do. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the room to show you how it all turned out. find your way to higher ground may you always keep your head held up high pretty little thing you're a diamond in the rough shining from within i can tell that you're tough just the side of you when i'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last 
Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong So thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration for your fall decor. And don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box below as well as Shoshana's channel. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will think about giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join my growing little YouTube family here. I would love to have you join me each week as I share more things home decor related. So until I talk to you in my next video, guys, have a great week. Bye. I've been waiting for this, yeah It's been up on my mind